Welcome back. We'll be taking a look at your financial portfolio lately. There might be one thing or another in there that can leave you with some risk, and that's obviously the exact opposite of what you want. So join us now with Legacy Financial Partners of Ameriprise Financial. We've got Dennis Drager. He's a certified financial planner and Forbes Best in State Wealth Advisor in 2019 and 2020. And fortunately for us, he's here to help us smooth out our portfolios and hopefully, hopefully leave us with a few more dollars in our wallet. So Dennis, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you. Yeah, thank you. And good morning, Chris. And thank you for allowing me to speak with your viewers. Oh, it's always a treat to hear more information about how we can put some more money in our pockets. So let's talk about this. Last time we chatted, you talked about some of the you know volatility and uncertainty always in an election year. So uh, what are some things that we can be doing to help mitigate that? Yeah, with time permitting, I'm going to go through four different strategies. Uh, the first strategy is something that I would call uh, just having a cash cushion. I would recommend all of your viewers maintain two to three years of a cash cushion for any funds that are needed to supplement their income in the next few years. This allows them to maintain a longer term portfolio that can be held for a period of three years, which substantially reduces risks and increases the probability of getting the returns that they need. Now, any funds in this cash cushion should be in something with very little or no risk. The second strategy is to look at reducing the percentage of stocks that are in your investment portfolio. Many people were concerned when they looked at the value of their portfolio on December 31st compared to March 31st, or even the last month. Mm. If you are uncomfortable with that amount of change, you should consider reducing the percentage of stocks in your portfolio because of the percentage of stocks are directly correlated to the amount of volatility. Um, let's use an example. Let's say you have $250,000 saved for retirement and you have 60% invested in stocks. You meet with your financial advisor and you determine you wanna reduce that to 40%. Uh, so a reduction of $50,000 in stocks. How do you do that? Well, the easiest way is to work with your advisor and pick a mutual fund or an investment account that's designed to be 40% stock. You wait until you feel comfortable with volatility in the direction of the economy, and you go back to your original allocation. Another strategy is to sell $50,000 of the portfolio that's invested in stocks and keep it on the sidelines. Wait until you feel the market has hit a bottom and then go back in and you go back up to your original allocation. I don't recommend this strategy. Very seldom in the 35 years I've been in business have I seen anybody successful timing the market. <laughs> a variation of that strategy is you sell the $50,000, but instead of trying to pick the bottom of the market, you move $4,000 a month back in, uh, and you do something called dollar cost averaging, which is the third strategy. It removes a lot of the timing risk and most of your viewers would be familiar with dollar cost averaging because that's how you invest in your retirement plans. Hey. The last strategy is uh, to look at products that are designed to limit risk on the downside. And there's many of these, but one good example is something called a structured annuity. There are products today that you can buy that are designed to be held for a period of three years that are tied to an index like the S&P 500 index. As long as that index does not go down by more than 15%, you get your money back. On the other hand, if that index goes up by say 20 or 25%, you participate uh, completely up to an upper cap, which is now around 22%. Most clients today, or most of your viewers today would be happy with a seven or 8% average annual return over the next three years. Amen to that. Dennis, we gotta wrap it up there, but quickly, how can people get a hold of you? Our phone number here is at 701-232-8886, and we're located on 13th Avenue, just east of 25th Street. Dennis, thanks for the insight. I really, really appreciate it. We look forward to having you back, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Stay with us. We've got a lot more coming up right after this. <laughs> 